Field. Stay tuned as West Virginia hosts Boston College on the Mountaineers Sports Network. Eugene Napoleon, the deep man for the Mountaineers, averaging 17 yards per return. A near-capacity crowd braving the cool and the rain here in Morgantown to watch the Mountaineers, who've been away from home for four weeks. They had three road games in a row and then had the off week. Lowe's kickoff. Going to the end zone, and West Virginia will have the touchbacks. Last week, while many of his teammates were watching opposing teams play on television, he went out to his high school, Brashear High School in Pittsburgh, and worked the chains during that game, the yard markers for his club. On first down and 10, Harris back to the line of scrimmage on the option keep. Brother Mark, a co-captain, had another brother a captain in college, and his brother Austin, a co-captain at uh, Colgate in the rugby team. Pass is complete to the tight end, Keith Wynn. A first down for West Virginia as he's knocked out at the 34. Greg Taylor is the fullback for West Virginia on first and 10. And Andre Johnson getting the start, spinning ahead. A four-yard pickup for Andre Johnson. After a four-yard pickup, it's second down and six. And Harris again looking to throw. Has Jamie Lamont for the first down inside BC territory down to the 45-yard line. So the Mountaineers inside Boston College territory, 13 minutes and 16 seconds to go here in the first quarter of play as Under Johnson moves ahead, picks up three yards. The injury to A.B. Brown, the bothersome hamstring, will keep him out of action here as Johnson gets the start. Second down and seven. Harris on the option keep. Knocked down right at the first down marker. Rick Phillips, John Stroya, Kevin Koken, Bob Kovac, Brian Smiter, the offensive line. On third down and one, Harris has the first down, and the late pitch goes to Andre Johnson. Johnson down at the 23-yard line. Jamie Lamont and Granis Bell are the receivers split out wide. And on first down, Andre Johnson to the 15-yard line. Quarterback Major Harris, two of two for 31 yards. On second down and four, that's Phillips in motion. Craig Taylor. As the hole and the touchdown. <laughs> touchdown number five of the season for senior Craig Taylor. A 16-yard TD. Cowley Bauman's extra point attempt is good. And West Virginia takes a 7-0 lead with 11 minutes and 18 seconds to go here on homecoming day 1988. Back in 1986. Andre Green and Tracy Giles are back deep to return the kickoff from Carroll. And it's Giles from the 15-yard line. Met there by Teddy Kester and brought down. And he's a question mark coming into this one this afternoon. Marcus Cherry and Tom Waddle splitting out to the far left on first down and 10. And the Eagles starting off the game in the air. Ball batted down beautifully there. Second down and 10. The ball carrier is the fullback, Duke St. Pierre. Brings it up for a six yard gain. And Ryan Schonell is a senior as well. The right tackle, Doug Wydell, is a senior. The only underclassman is the right guard. And Power on third down and three falls untouched. Came back from a broken ankle. Suffered during the offseason when he was skateboarding. Brannis Bell. From the 38-yard line, loses the football, and the Eagles have recovered. Granis Bell's fumble gives Boston College the football. David Thompson. So the Boston College Eagles, after going three downs and out, get new life. The ball spotted on the West Virginia 33-yard line. Mike Power, with time, deflected by Lawrence Drumgold. So on second down and 10, the Boston College Eagles show the I formation. Quarterback Mike Power looking for his first completion. He's 0 for 2. Power has his receiver. That's Tom Waddle at the 20-yard line. First down and 10 from the 19-yard line. West Virginia with a 7-0 lead. And the tailback is Mike Sanders. Well, the Boston College Eagles at the West Virginia 15-yard line on a second down and six. And the ball carrier is the fullback, Ed Toner, ahead for a couple. Third down and four. The Eagles from the West Virginia 13-yard line. Power 
Again, slipping down, and the play will be ruled dead. Brian Lowe, Boston College's all-time leading field goal kicker. Had four here against the Mountaineers back in 1986. Spotting this one from the 26-yard line, so a 36-yard attempt by Brian Lowe. It is good, and Boston College is on the board with seven minutes and 38 seconds to go here in the first quarter of play. West Virginia seven and Boston College three. Eugene Napoleon is back deep for the Mountaineers. A nice boot by Lowe, and it will not be returned, so... Major has rushed the ball twice for six yards. Option freeze on first and ten. Wide open was Calvin Phillips. Harris again. Plenty of time. Has his man. An eight-yard pickup, and it is third down and two. The option, and Andre Johnson has the first down for West Virginia. On first down and 10, West Virginia shows the option this time to the right. Major Harris with the first down. Major Harris now with 21 yards on the ground and three carries. That was the sixth West Virginia first down on that play. Harris knocked back and a beautiful hit there by Ivan Caesar. So a passing situation for West Virginia. Sending out Calvin Phillips and Reggie Rembert far to the right side. And Harris on the option. The draw play. And he does not even come up to the original line of scrimmage. The receivers for the Mountaineers. They'll use a single man in the backfield. Three receivers on third down and long. Protection there for Harris. Going deep for Jamie Lamont. And the ball is intercepted by Brian Williams. The right cornerback made a good play there as they went to Jamie Lamont. Ball was underthrown. And so the BC Eagles with their third possession of the ball game. 5 12 to go here in the first quarter of play. BC trailing it 7 to 3. Powers handoff to Mike Sanders and gains a yard at best. Power looking on second down and eight. Intended that pass over there. Over the middle. Struggled against West Virginia last year. And was removed from the game after starting it. Replaced by Mark Kampaus. Power with time on third and eight. And he's got his man for the first down. Tom Waddle. Power again. This ball almost intercepted by Chris Herring. They are very happy with the play of Chris Herring. Power. As his man beat out far was Tom Waddle on the far side of the field. Power two of seven passing so far, and they use the draw play. It's Ed Toner. Toner with the first down. Toner. All the way down to the 20-yard line, and Ed Toner will score. A touchdown for the Boston College Eagles on third down and 10. A beautiful play call on the draw. A 63-yard touchdown. This point. There's a fake on the extra point attempt. And the ball is intercepted. Now, this can be returned for a touchdown. This is Daryl Whitmore. Whitmore brings it up ahead to the 40-yard line. Austin College leads it by two with 3.51 to go here in the first quarter of play. Rich Carlos, now with the Denver Broncos, kicked the field goalie of Cincinnati in early lead. Speaking of leads, that's what West Virginia is after now. But another good kick by Brian Lowe. Andre Johnson pushes ahead for a four-yard pickup. Second down and six. And Harris looking for the seam on the option. Facing West Virginia. Out of the eye formation. Play action. Harris with plenty of time. And making the stop for Boston College, Eric Lindstrom. And Lance Carrion on to punt for the first time this afternoon. 
Marcus Cherry is the deep man. Cherry from the 39-yard line meets up with his own player there, David Thompson. Penalty is a dead ball foul, 15 yards. Personal foul, first and 10. Marcus Cherry wide to the right on first down and 10. Tom Waddle up top to the left. They'll keep it on the ground. This is Mike Sanders. Sanders across the 30-yard line. Has a first down for Boston College on 22 carries. And again, the call goes to Mike Sanders. Brought down as he crosses over the 25. Head coach Don Nealon has faced Boston College seven times, has beaten them six times. The fullback is Duke St. Pierre. Bobbled up and brought down at the 20-yard line. St. Pierre and Mike Sanders in the I formation for BC. And it's Sanders. And he looks to have the first down. He has. He's made some big receptions, some big pass completions, but he's two of seven statistically. Mike Sanders looking for the room out to the left. And he's brought down there nicely by Bo Orlando. A big run by Ed Toner, and it's BC 9, West Virginia 7. Brett Chico, the tight end, moving over to the left. On second down and eight. Ball batted down again by Chris Parker. That's Shimura, the tight end, moving over. Power again looking for the right side of that end zone. And Daryl Whitmore there to tip the ball away. West Virginia in a man coverage at that time. Coach Shaw is not afraid to play man coverage anywhere on the field. A 33-yard attempt by Brian Lowe. And the ball is blocked. The attempt by Lowe is deflected, and West Virginia holds off the Boston College Eagles. So the Mountaineers starting off first down and 10 from the 20-yard line. And Andre Johnson is the ball carrier. Mix up six, and that'll bring up second down and four. Back to the 1985 season, he rushed for 206 yards against the Temple Owls. Johnson again the ball carrier, and he's got the first down for the Mountaineers. First down and ten for the Mountaineers. Harris on the option. And the major brings it ahead to the 40-yard line. Went over to the sideline and worked the down marker for Brashear High School against Perry High School in, in a big Pittsburgh City game. It's a wonder he didn't carry the water bucket at halftime. Second down and two. Aaron Evans on the carry. West Virginia again showing the option look, and Major Harris stood up and put down at the 45-yard line. He knows exactly what Fox should be doing. He'll also be talking with uh, Coach Robinson in the press box, and Coach Robinson will telephone down and tell him things that he's doing wrong. Mountaineers trailing by two points, nine to seven. Major Harris has his man, Jamie Lamont. And Lamont knocked out of bounds at the 21. Mountaineers from the BC 21 yard line. And under Johnson again with success up the middle. Brings it down to the 15. Craig Taylor back in at fullback. And again, under Johnson on the carry. Undra inside the 10-yard line. That'll be a first down. For 11 minutes and 13 seconds and counting in first half. Greg Taylor. That's ahead for a couple. That was even helped out a little more earlier on with a 16-yard touchdown run. Undra Johnson. Closes in on the five-yard line. Out of the wishbone. Eugene Napoleon. Undra Johnson. And Craig Taylor. Harris. Wide open, Under Johnson has it for the touchdown. Absolutely beautiful. Major Harris, vintage Major Harris. The uncanny ability. That's his eighth touchdown of the season, and the extra point by Charlie Bauman is good, and West Virginia takes the lead back 14 to 9 with 9 minutes and 51 seconds to go here in the first half of play. Mountaineers with a five-point lead. Nine minutes and 50 seconds to go here in the first half of play. 
Andre Green on the return. The ball is loose. And it looks as though, well, it's still down there. Charlie Fedorko was after it, but it popped loose after that. And it's going to go to Boston College. Fans on their feet, though. They're inspired just by the effort. First down and 10. And Mike Sanders spinning ahead to the 35-yard line. And again, they go to Mike Sanders. And again, a big hole. The junior from King Point, North Carolina, running very well. Traditionally, Boston College has always had big offensive linemen. And the Eagles will keep it on the ground as Ed Toner, junior fullback, playing for the Miami Dolphins. A couple yards on that play. It's second down and eight. And Power looking for Marcus Cherry, and he's got the pass. Down to the 21-yard line. The two biggest threats passing-wise, Cherry and Waddle, sit this play out. As Sanders looks for running room, and he's knocked back at the 20-yard line. Steve Grant. Powers on a timing pattern. Second down and eight, and Tom Waddle cannot catch up with it. Brett Chico in at the tight end for Boston College. That's him in motion. And the toss to Sanders. Tripped up, and he'll be short of the first down. It'll be a 32-yard shot for Brian Lowe. At his last attempt blocked. His foot has to be a cold out there today, Tony. From 32 yards away, Brian Lowe is good. And Boston College comes to within two points of the lead at 14 to 12 with six minutes and 39 seconds to go here in the first half of play. Ryan Lowe's been doing a real good job on kickoffs. This one, though, will stay low. Ahead to the 30-yard line, to the 32. That's Jeff Price, a reserve center. That's tremendous for someone his size. Six foot, 257 pounds. <laughs> That's a lot of weight getting off the ground. First and 10, under Johnson, slicing ahead to the 37. Parents could watch his 167-yard effort against East Carolina. I thought it was maybe so they could just hear you, Tony. No, not at all. Uh -oh. Second down and five, and Johnson has the first down as he closes in on Boston College territory. Mountaineers having some problems in their defensive backfield. They've got two reserves in there right now. Mo Orlando not in the game. That's Marcus Cherry in motion. And the fullback, Ed Toner. Passing situation. Pat Marlette is in there along with Basil Proctor and David Lockwood. Pressure is on. Turnbull made the hit there on power. And the ball is blown dead at the 50-yard line. David Rooney on to punt. Left-footed kicker. And he may have something here. Yes, he will. A good job by David Rooney. And they'll rule the ball dead. Back up near the 10-yard line. It bounded into the end zone, and so West Virginia will start off with a touchback. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Andre Johnson working off the right side. Johnson ahead to the 25, a five-yard pickup. Greg Taylor is the ball carrier. Picks up one, maybe two. Third down and three. Harris to Reggie Rember. And the junior college transfer. Wonder Johnson getting a breather. Harris again looking to throw, and he's heading deep. Brannis Bell has the catch. Touchdown, West Virginia. There's a penalty flag down, however. And it will count. Granis Bell with a 61-yard touchdown catch. Hit Granis right on stride. So the Mountaineers take a 20-12 lead on a 61-yard bomb to Granis Bell. Charlie Bauman with his third extra point attempt, and it is good. And West Virginia takes a nine-point lead with two minutes and 53 seconds to go. Boy, I'll tell you what. 
main homecoming. There's over 300 alumni members of the band who will also be involved in the activity. Kickoff by Carroll. And one heck of a guy, I'll tell you, I really like him. Eagles throwing on first down, and again, the pressure on Mike Power, and they've got him. But for many Mountaineer fans, they hope the beast of the East title stays right here in Morgantown this season. Again, Mike Power in trouble. Lawrence Drumgoal over to make the stop. So the BC Eagles and quarterback Mike Power in a jam on third down and 12. Power has time. And the ball is ruled incomplete. And bad snap. Rooney gets the ball off. Brandis Bell calls for a fair catch at the 44-yard line. They have even more reason to cheer. He's a long way from home. Andre Johnson bursting up the middle as he crosses into Boston College territory down to the BC 49. And Kelvin Phillips line out to the right. Grannis Bell to the left. Second down. Harris to Grannis Bell. A good catch down to the 38. Ball on the Boston College 38-yard line. Harris again has his man, Kelvin Phillips. Again, the Mountaineers deploying double receivers to the right, and they'll keep it on the ground as Craig Taylor bulls himself free. Harris again with time, and he's got Craig Taylor. First down for West Virginia as Taylor brings it down to the 19-yard line. And we still have 47 seconds left. Option, and it's Taylor. Inside the 15, he'll be ruled down at the 13-yard line. Has become West Virginia's fifth all-time ground gainer here with a 93-yard effort so far. Here's Major Harris looking for some more. A big hit, but the pass is caught. Rico Lobby made the stop there on Reggie Rembert. Clock continues to wind down. Now down to 10 seconds. Mountaineers have to throw one away, and Major Harris does with eight seconds showing. And Bauman's 28-yard attempt is good. So West Virginia marches down on the BC Eagles to put three more on the board, and they take a 24-12 lead with just four seconds remaining here in the first half of action. That's right. From Hurricane West Virginia. Brad Carroll sets it down on the ground. Time has expired here in the first half of play. And the Mountaineers will settle for a 12-point lead at halftime. It's West Virginia 24 and the Boston College Eagles 12. Stay tuned, everyone. Andre Green and Tracy Giles are back deep for the Boston College Eagles. Carroll's kick taken by Giles at the four. Giles brought down over at the 22-yard line. A good job by the Mountaineer kick return unit. He struggled. In the first half of play, completing just four of 13 passes. And Mike Sanders gets the call on first down. The BC Eagles and their high-powered passing attack have been pretty much squelched. On second down, the ball is intercepted by Willie Edwards. Edwards crossing over the 15-yard line, and he'll be ruled out at the 19. So the Mountaineers starting off from the 22-yard line in B.C. territory, and Andre Johnson brings it ahead for a two-yard game. Quarterback Major Harris firing 170 yards through the air on 10 of 14 passing in the first half. The option freeze play by Harris. Good job by the Boston College defense, and Harris will keep. Major chased out at the nine-yard line. 13 minutes and 38 seconds to go, third quarter. Harris on the option. He's got the seam. And the touchdown. Here out of Erie, Pennsylvania, Charlie Bauman with an extra point. And it is good. And West Virginia takes a 31-12 lead as they convert off the interception by Willie Edwards. Major Harris has thrown the ball for 170 yards, and he's rushed for 38. So he is exactly where he was a year ago against Boston College. A lot more football to play. 
Giles on the kickoff return. Back in the first half, so he's got five touchdown passing and four touchdowns rushing. Power looking for a big play here. Lawrence Drumgool. Added the ball down there. Tom Waddle had a chance. Mike Power now four of 15 passing. They'll keep it on the ground. Mike Sanders on the carry. And those two gentlemen accounted for over 70% of Boston College's total rushing this season. So a big loss in the backfield. Sanders trying to make it up. And here's a big play to make it up as Tom Waddle had the completion. And they'll call it a complete pass. Fumbled it, but got it back. Cincinnati Defensive Bowler, holding. High school in 15 Cincinnati. 10 yards and a first down. At the 41. Power to pass on first down and 10. And he's got his man, Mike Sanders, out of the backfield 50 times. But they threw just 13 passes in the first half. They're going to have to pass a lot here. The fullback, Ed Toner, has the first down as he brings it into West Virginia territory at the strong safety position for West Virginia. So Bo Orlando is out with that injury. Power again finds his man over the middle. It's complete to Marcus Cherry. The Eagles are marching in on West Virginia territory. Power again to throw on first down. Looking for his favorite receiver, Waddle, and the pass is overthrown. Second down and 10. Power again tries it over the middle. David Lockwood on the coverage. Pressure is on. Ronaldo Turnbull catches up with Mike Power once again. Power's got his man, but not the necessary yardage for the first down. Lawrence Drumgool making the stop, and the Mountaineers will take the ball over on down. 470 yards of total offense this season. So far this afternoon, 323 yards. Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson. Ahead to the 25. And that's the sixth time he's done that as a Mountaineer. Harris on the option keep. A 425-pound bench press. Former high school quarterback in Berwick, Pennsylvania. Third down and four. Harris looks for Reggie Rembert, and Rembert cannot hold on. Carry on's first punt, a 45-yarder, and he really squibs this one off the side of his foot, but it takes a big West Virginia bounce. Marcus Cherry from the 28-yard line. A late flag comes down. If Boston College is going to stay in this game, Tony, this is going to be a big drive. Five first downs. Boston College will start off from the 21-yard line, first down and 10. The Eagles trailing, and Mike Power forced to get into a throwing situation. Power on the bad ankle. Chased out of bounds at the 26-yard line. And the way things are going here for Boston College, we might see Willie Hicks in the ball game. Second down and five. Waddle wide open. Cannot make the catch. Third down and five. Of the eye formation. Power has his tight end, Mark Shimura, for the first down. <laughs> Mike Sanders gets the call on first down and 10. Pushes ahead for a three-yard gain. And nine of those 15 have come on pass receptions to either Marcus Cherry, who's in motion there, or Tom Waddle. Power, second down and seven. As Waddle over the middle. And Darrell Whitmore spins him down at the 36. Waddle takes a breather. Marcus Cherry lining up far to the left-hand side. Again, Power over the middle. And the pass is complete, a nine-yard pickup. They're on the 26 of the Mountaineers now, on first down and 10. Sanders with a hole down to the 15-yard line. A first down for the Eagles. West Virginia now with three more. And a little option. Here comes Mike Sanders. And Sanders is in for the touchdown. Six minutes and 57 seconds show on the third quarter clock. And this one is good. 
And Boston College now trails the Mountaineers 31 to 19 with six minutes and 57 seconds to go. Third quarter of play from Mountaineer Field. For their passing attack. Down by 12 points. Ryan Lowe's kickoff. Bounces out of bounds and they'll have to do it over. Keeps this one on the ground and taken by one of the up men. Again, it's Jeff Price. There's the big guy. Moving it ahead. Major on the option toss to Andre Johnson. And a penalty flag goes down. We've got a clip on the play. The rain was not falling, but it was a very heavy rain in the early morning hours. A rain that the new Omni turf surface in Mount. Penalty, a costly one for West Virginia. It's first down and 22. Harris to Calvin Phillips. And Phillips pushed out at the 36-yard line. And now a flag comes down on a late hit. Dead ball foul. 15 yards on the defense. Automatic first down. First down and 10. Andre Johnson stacked up and pushed back. As we get a look there at Willie Edwards, who had a big interception to start off the second half. Second down and 12. Harris in trouble. And Major Harris picks up a couple yards on the play. So Lennon at the left tackle spot. Harris on third and 10. Looking for Reggie Rembert. No, Kelvin Phillips, and he makes a beautiful catch. Andre Johnson on first and goal inside of the two-yard line. Jack Lynn, Dale Wolfley, Brian Hendricks. Second and goal from the two. Harris will be held back at the one-yard line. When every third series we had a different offensive line. This is where it pays off. Third and goal under Johnson leaps in for the score. That was drafted, wasn't it, Tony? Well, the way he's going right now, he's going to get some looks from the NFL. Charlie Bauman's extra point is good, and West Virginia opens up a 38 to 19 lead over the B.C. Eagles. So the Mountaineers with a 19-point lead. And the kickoff will be held back into the end zone, a touchback, and came up with a touchdown catch. But Mike Power trying to work his B.C. Eagles back into this one. Hits Tom Waddle. And the senior out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Power looking to throw second and one. And Preston Waters had the best shot at that one. Five deep and man coverage. Sanders on the carry. He's got the first down. And they've got power again. Ronaldo Turnbull. Sanders lining himself up as a receiver. Toner, the ball carrier, gets ahead to the 25-yard line, is averaging 45 points a game at home. And they're headed towards 45 again this afternoon. Again, power under pressure, looking for Waddle, open, and a catch by Waddle, incomplete. Yard line. Bell's kick. Rudy's kick, I should say. Down back at the 48-yard line. And Major Harris with 219 yards through the air so far. Looks for some more. Andre Johnson is the tailback. Harris looking for more. Major into Boston College territory. Harris down at the 41-yard line. That's where he was ruled out. At the 41. So Harris now with 55 yards on the ground. 200 yards through the air. And under Johnson working on a 100-yard afternoon. Under Johnson has never been a regular starter. He surpassed Dwayne Woods, former West Virginia running back. Under Johnson. 
down to the 31 yard line and they come back and they're looking strong this afternoon you were about three years old then Tony or just a small young child yeah Harris will keep well the third quarter of play comes to an end West Virginia will switch sides of the field leading it 38 to 19. Bob Kovac out at right guard and Dale Wolfley is in for West Virginia. The single man in the backfield is Aaron Evans. Stays in the block. Harris. First down to Granis Bell. First and 10 for West Virginia from the 13. Harris. Touchdown, West Virginia. Major Harris from 13 yards away. Another great job by Major Harris. Charlie Bauman's extra point is good, and West Virginia takes a 45 to 19 lead with 14 minutes and 29 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Charlie Bauman's kickoff angled over to the right. And it's taken by Ed Toner, fullback for the Eagles, and a penalty marker goes down on a late hit. Dead ball foul, late hit, personal foul on the defense, 15 yards, first down. Rain starts coming now. Power on first and 10. As Waddle, and Waddle is down to the 46 yard line. Had a 13 catch performance this season against TCU. Mike Sanders on second down and two. Closes in on the first down marker. The middle linebacker can see him and pick that out more, more quickly on the defensive calls. Sanders again on the carry. And Ronaldo Turnbull makes the stop, pushing him over the 40-yard line. Power in trouble. And Teddy Kester. Jones is a tremendous passer. Power on third down and six. And again, Turnbull makes the one-handed throwdown of Mike Power. 15 yards, face mask, on the defense, and that's a first down. Ball spotted on the 31 in West Virginia territory. Here they come again, and this time, no penalties, but another sack. Lawrence Drumgool, second down and 16 here. And they go to Sanders, and Sanders bursts to the head to the 30-yard line. Don Nealon's another guy. And you have to be in a contact sport like football. Third down and seven. Power. Intended for Mark Shamora, the tight end. And congratulate. And I owe him for that. Fourth down and seven. Power. Meets up with Basil Proctor and Chris Harry. Number 99, Basil Proctor made the initial hit. Out here, starting off first and 10 from the 38-yard line. And a little trickery. Here comes Reggie Rembert with one man to beat. And the ball pops loose. Take a look at this. West Virginia recovers it, but penalty flags are down. Flipping on the offense. 15 yards. Repeat the down. Mountaineers from their 35-yard line. First down and 13 motion. Jim Beestick came off the ball, but he was drawn off there. Transferred into West Virginia a season ago from the University of Miami. Eugene Napoleon on the carry. And Napoleon ahead to the 33. Bo is one of the four married West Virginia players on the team. Second down and 15. And Adrian Moss. Now rule the play incomplete. So another passing situation. And the option freeze by the Mountaineers. Harris looking for Calvin Phillips. And he makes the catch. A first down for the Mountaineers to the Boston College 36-yard line. Calvin Phillips. Phillips has caught four balls. That one going for 34. Eugene Napoleon. Back to the 35, and that'll be a one-yard pickup. And they had blue helmets with the logo. From Florida. Yeah. That's 
Bell in motion on second down and eight. And Harris. Mountaineer player for good play. And Major Harris has had plenty of that. Again, the Mountaineers throwing on third down and seven. Looking for Reggie Rembert. Rembert makes the catch. Touchdown for the Mountaineers from 35 yards away. Penalty flag was down. I believe we're going to get defensive pass interference. Major Harris on the field, and the penalty will go against the Eagles. Touchdown for West Virginia. It is perfect, and West Virginia leads it 52-19 to with 7 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Moving up all from the left hash to the right hash to the middle of the field now. And the ball taken by Giles. And Giles ahead to the 27-yard line. Willie Hicks is in at quarterback for Boston College, a sophomore from Mattapan, Massachusetts. He's got some footing problems, and guess who's right around him there? Number 87, Ronaldo Turnbull. Loss of nine on the play, and that'll bring up second down and 19. And the Mountaineer defense. Third down and 16, and Hicks is going to be throwing it here. Has his man, Andre Green, and Green down to the midfield marker. So on the completion, Boston College with first and 10 from the 50, and here's Mike Sanders for a five-yard pickup. He's a finance major. And Hicks loses the ball, and it's recovered by Basil Proctor. Well, Willie Hicks slipped. The green game seems like a, a year ago almost. And the ball carrier is Eugene Napoleon. Napoleon into Boston College territory. Second down and four. Greg Jones again making the handoff. Pushed out at the 44-yard line. Third down and one. And again, it's Napoleon. He's got the first down. Jeff Price under center. And the handoff goes to Rico Tyler. And Tyler across the 25-yard line. Okay. And their way, that beast of the East will be staying right here in Morgantown. Rico Tyler. Sanders with over 120 yards. Second down and eight. And the toss goes to Napoleon. And the running room's up. Greg Jones wearing one glove there on the left hand. And he's going to get a chance to throw it. Wide open, Jamie Lamont. And a touchdown. Greg Jones hits for gold on his first pass attempt. Charlie Bauman looking for point number 59. And he has it. Three minutes and seven seconds to go, and the West Virginia Mountaineers lead it by 40 points. That will increase as well. And Carroll's kickoff taken at the 10-yard line by Tracy Giles. Met there by Steve Grant, the freshman linebacker out of Miami, Florida, on his first appearance of the afternoon under center for the Boston College Eagles. And Hicks. On their way to 7 0. He's a new guy, 5'10, 179 pounds. Mike Sanders, the ball carrier, still up as he reaches the 45 yard line, first down for BC. And perhaps you can be on the field before this season's over for the Mountaineers. He'll be over in some capacity. Great opportunity for a young person. Hicks going deep. He's got his man, and it's incomplete down at the five yard line. Tracy Giles. And several key games still remain on the schedule. Third down and 11. One minute and 50 seconds in counting. Willie Hicks has his man. Good for a first down over the 40 yard line. And I'm just amazed at the number of uh, players that are finance and marketing majors that they do have. A very good school. Lost a forehead that was swelling up on him, but they have taken care of that with a special helmet. Hicks on second down and four. 
into the end zone. And it's incomplete intended there for Ray Hilver. Got off to a 6 0 start back in 1983. And then ended up losing to Penn State and eventual national champion Miami. Under 20 seconds to go. And Willie Hicks' is pass. Ten seconds on the clock as Greg Jones will run the play out. Timmy Williams, redshirted freshman out of Pemberton, New Jersey, has the honor of having the final carry of the ball game. West Virginia University is 7-0 for the first time since 1955. The Mountaineers scoring a 59-19 triumph over the Boston College Eagles. 